What's up guys, FG Tech here, welcome back to the channel. So today I just received uh, two memory sticks of uh, 8 uh, gigs each, so I'll bring my machine to 32 in total. I already have uh, 16 gigs installed, two um, banks of 8 gigs each, so I will bring now my machine to 32 gigabytes uh, by using four of these. You can see this RAM already installed in my machine since more or less a year. You can look uh, at my videos up here. So we already went uh, through the unboxing that you can also find uh, here up above. And uh, this video will be just for installation plus uh, demonstrating a little bit uh, the different uh, layouts that the different motherboards have for uh, best installation. I will guide you through the three different options that we have. Plus, uh, we will also be looking at some benches. So what kind of comparison and uh, what kind of uh, performance gain we can get uh, between having 16 or 32 gigabytes installed on our machines and uh, where we can see most of the differences. So without further ado, let me first explain very quickly the different layouts and then we jump into the installation and benchmarks. Okay, so as we said, I'll install your RAM in the motherboard slots, depends from vendor to vendor and uh, it can affect his uh, overclocking capabilities. So we basically have uh, three methodologies, as we can see here, one DPC, so DIMM per channel, T topology and DAISY chain. DPC is the best uh, layout, let's say, in uh, terms of uh, overclocking, since uh, there is a shorter way between the CPU, dual channel CPU, as we can see here, and uh, two RAM slots. The CPU will connect uh, to the RAM in this way, And uh, yeah, the downside obviously is that you only have two slots, so the upgradability is uh, limited. Usually this solution is found on ITX or micro ITX uh, boards. Next uh, layout is the T topology, so called due to the shape of their connection between uh, the CPU and the RAM slots. So the connection happens uh, in this way. So as you can see, we have uh, two little T's here, here and here. And uh, this configuration provides uh, the lowest performances where compared uh, to the other two, in case uh, you only have uh, two slots uh, um, filled in. When you instead use all the available slots, so all the four slots, the performances are better than the easy chain, because obviously this one only has two slots. Anyway, there are no issues also using uh, two slots. Um, in this case, um, for example, I am currently on uh, two slots, 8 gigs, 3200 megahertz without any issues, but you can mount them in the slots uh, uh, A1 and A2 or maybe A2 and P2 is depending anyway on the motherboard. For example, my motherboard suggests a configuration A2, B2. The last configuration that we have, the layout DAISY chain, it's uh, so called uh, since the interconnection between the CPU and RAM slots have a shape of uh, DAISY petals, so the interconnection happens like this.
and this is the easiest layout to produce so it's uh, usually also the cheapest one and this configuration some slots are preferred compared to the others uh, highlighted them so we are talking about the A2 and B2 uh, which are preferred over the other two the motherboard supporting this layout will mostly suggest an installation in slots uh, A2 and B2 which are in bold here but honestly I don't know why there is this preference in this layout so if you are installing just uh, one RAM stick you should go for the slot A2 since it's the closest one to the CPU so it should have better performances than B2 while in case you have two RAM slots you should fill A2 and B2 as already said so you will now probably think uh, why not using uh, A1 and B1 since they are closer to the CPU so they should uh, guarantee better performances it's quite complicated to answer this question and I'm probably not the person to able to answer that but I know that it has to do with the electric impedance in particular the output impedance and the input impedance so this creates a lower, a lower frequency on the output slot and higher one on the next slot consequently when we install all four sticks of RAM in a DC configuration we will get let, mm, lower performance since we are slowed down by two by these two slots in order to understand uh, what kind of layout your motherboard uh, will be using so as we said the first layout uh, is just for uh, two banks of RAM while these two are the most common in uh, any motherboard in any um, ATX motherboard and uh, yeah in order to understand uh, what is the configuration uh, you should look at uh, the motherboard manual but this is also sometimes uh, complicated to understand uh, nevertheless all uh, manufacturers uh, usually go for uh, daisy chain except for uh, asus uh, asrock and gigabyte they usually are using the t topology uh, but we should also say that um, this kind of change from board to board and generation of, of chipsets too so um, sometimes it's really difficult to understand uh, which layout you have uh, i have currently an x39 gigabyte which is using uh, the topology so anyway now stop with all these explanations and let's get into the RAM installation so as you can see the tempered glass is off and we are ready now for the installation so the RAM installation usually is very easy and quick it just takes a few seconds so the important thing is just to make sure that uh, this line here is aligned on the motherboard so we just install install those as we saw so let's open the clips here just slide it okay so now we just wait for the two clicks one on the top one at the bottom, done. And we simply repeat the same operation on the first slot, which is even easier because there is no obstruction. So again, let's align the RAM first and the first click on the top, second on the bottom, and it's done. So, as you can see, all four uh, RAMs are lighting up and the system has just boot perfectly. So, let's get into some benches. So, I just ran uh, Cinebench R15 with a current configuration of uh, 16 gigs and it's scoring uh, 1624 as you can see here. Now, let's do the same test uh, with the Cinebench R20. And here is the same test with the Cinebench R20. Same configuration is giving uh, 3901 points. So this is the DaVinci Resolve benchmark just concluded. 
these are our results. So overall score 4K is a 6.22. And here is the result for the Photoshop benchmark. Final score 880. And even if I don't expect much uh, changes in gaming, here are the results of Firestrike Stream. Still with the 16 gigs of RAM. And here we are with another run of uh, Cinebench release 20. As I expected, uh, not much difference, almost the same score here with 32 gigs. So it's uh, 39.11. This is another run of uh, Cinebench R15, now with uh, 32 gigs of RAM. And uh, we can see we have a small increase, 1632 is the current score. And here is the DaVinci Resolve benchmark, completed with uh, 32 gigs of RAM. We can see a small increment here, so smaller than I expected at least. 634 is the current score. Let's look now at the gaming performances. So interestingly, Fire Strike Extreme is now scoring uh, 9,772, which is a couple of uh, frame less than uh, 16 gigs. So I expected uh, no changes going with uh, 32 gigs in uh, gaming, but here actually we have a little bit of slowdown. So it will be not the case in any game, but uh, yeah, the performances are basically the same. So let's uh, quickly recap our scores so far. Photoshop 16 gigs scored 880. Photoshop 32 scored 934. DaVinci 16 gigs scored 622, while DaVinci 32 scored 634. Fire Strike 16 gig scored 10,254, while the 32 gig scored 9,772. So, after all, these tests only confirmed what I already knew. Basically, no change at all in gaming, and the main performance gain you will be seeing uh, will be in Photoshop and uh, video editing. I don't see the sense of running specific uh, memory benchmarks uh, since the speed is anyway the same. 3200, like the 16 gigs I had installed. So I hope this video helped some of you and uh, cleared uh, some doubts. And let me know if you like this video in the comments. Uh, thumbs up as always if you like the video and uh, please make sure to subscribe below and see you in the next video